Hola amigos, hola amigas, welcome, bienvenido, croesu y salam, welcome to the channel, y'all, chesh, nyakshi mash, good day, y'all. Today, I have a little box of something that I bought recently. Now, I had one of these, I remember very distinctly having one of these when I was six years old for Christmas. Um... And I'd completely and utterly forgotten about it until I recently saw a video on the Paul Restorer channel. Go check in the video description below. Uh, the link to his channel is in the title and also in the video description. It was a video that was put out two months ago, so go and check that out. And, as you would have seen, obviously, it is the Kojak toy car. So, the one that he did a complete restoration of, I was like, oh my gosh, I wonder if they still if there's any available on eBay. And lo and behold, here we have a Buick Regal Kojak car, exactly like I used to have when I was six years old. I remember very distinctly. I loved American cars of that era. And um, yeah, I just thought it was really good. So this is a Buick Regal that was in the uh, Kojak. And the vehicle, as you see, is made by Corgi. And it's a Buick Regal, or Regal, uh, made in Great Britain. And now I might have mentioned this before when I was doing videos on the toy cars that I have, the scale ones. My granddad, my grandmother, and my father used to work at the Metoys factory in Swansea um, during the days and you know that's where that's where they were made so i don't know maybe they did see this i have no idea but anyway so here we have the kojak car you can open up the steering wheel is missing unfortunately but you can open up both doors it's a bit manky and grubby on the inside you have a man there shooting a gun you can move him around and the feature of this was the sound of the gunfire Bang, bang, bang. So if you turn that dial there underneath, there was a flicker on it, and it would make a noise as if the man was shooting, and then you could move him around. Now, I also, I remember having the police car, um, which I, I'm sure it went with it, because I had the two of them. It was this and also a police car, but I cannot find it on uh, eBay or anywhere at all of the car that was to go with this, which was the police car. But anyway, I have this Buick. So, like I said, the steering wheel is missing, unfortunately, and it is a little bit grubby on the inside. So what we are going to do is give this a good clean up. So it's not in that bad a condition. You can see that it's been played with and there's some chips in it and stuff. But I quite like the patina of it. And it's in pretty good condition. But we definitely need to give it a clean up. But first of all, I'm going to see if I can do something with the, um, with the outside of it so you can see it. So if I put down a cloth... And I've got some wet wipes. There we go. And so we are going to give this a little cleanup. Okay, so I've used some wet wipes, some isopropyl alcohol. Um, I got inside the um, car to clean it up and it looks a heck of a lot nicer now than what it does. It feels a lot nicer and cleaner as well. So that has come up really well. But there's one thing I wanna do 
which is to give it a little bit of a shine. So I've got some uh, demon shine here. I'm not going to use the, I'm not going to spray it on the car. I'm going to spray it onto the cloth and rub that over it. So there we go guys, there is my Buick Regal Kojak car, all nice and clean and shiny. Again, it's not in the best condition, but it is a lot better than some of them that I saw on there. Cleaned up really nice, shame about the steering wheel, but it doesn't really matter to be honest. I've got it nice and clean, so I'm more than happy with that. Uh, Universal City Studios, 1975, made in Great Britain. So it's got copyright 1975, but I didn't have mine until 1981. So I don't know if there was a lot of the um, old stock that they would have had, but you can see the paintwork on it is this metallic goldy color. It's really nice, I absolutely love it. And that's what I, I don't really kind of like remember being Kojak or whatever, being a fan of Kojak, but I do remember the cars and I do remember absolutely loving this car because of the colour of it and it's, it's quite a nice size as well so yeah, I'm chuffed with that, so thank you very much for watching I just wanted to share this with you, a little bit of my past and just give it a bit of clean up I, again, I like the patina on it it's going to go in my display cabinet with my other model vehicles and I just wanted to share that with you guys, so thank you very much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye, y'all.